Hey guys, so as promised, this is a version of the tutorial na nire-request ninyo. Um, actually, we had live webinar noong July 17 from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. And one of the topics that we were able to discuss is yung lead generation for beginners no? or web scraping na tinatawag ng iba. So, I'm creating this video para uh, masundan ninyo yung instructions and hindi nyo na kailangan ulitin yung 3-hour uh, video or hanapin kung, kung saang part yung discussion na yun. So, um, right now I have here uh, a sample website which is winetitles.com.au and uh, the client is actually requesting if I can get um, the leads from this website and specifically for wineries no? and uh, pinrovide ito ng client so meron tayong mga ibang websites na pwedeng gamitin like yellowpages.com.au and this is the example na I would like to demonstrate for today. So if you're gonna check this website, makikita mo na may mga listahan siya ng mga companies um, with addresses, with phone number, with website, yung iba may email and um, social media links. Um, so para hindi na tayo magmamanual copy pasting at ilipat siya sa Google Sheet or sa Microsoft Excel, for example, we're going to use uh, Instant Data Scraper, uh, which is a Chrome extension. Okay, so per page, you will see around 16 companies listed and there are 142 pages. So para hindi ka na magmove um, from one page to another, we're going to use the Instant Data Scraper to do that. For All right, us. so what we're going to do is to search for the scraper. So, ang ginagawa ko is nagsasearch ako ng um, Instant Data Scraper Chrome Extension. Ito yung keyword na ginagamit ko. And if you're gonna press enter, lalabas itong first na result. Dapat galing siya sa chrome.google.com. And then, click nyo lang siya and you will see this page. Tapos, you will see add to Chrome. And just double check which email yung nakalogin. No? So, you can click add to Chrome. Ayan, add to Chrome. Tapos, just wait for a few seconds. Tapos, click add extension. Okay. And then, you will see this message, Instant Data Scraper has been added to Chrome. Tapos, lalabas yung button dito sa taas. If you're gonna press X here, mawawala yung logo ng Instant Data Scraper. So, ang kailangan mo lang gawin is i-click itong uh, extension icon para siyang puzzle icon, no? Tapos, makikita mo dito yung Instant Data Scraper. So, para mag, uh, magkaroon tayo ng shortcut dito sa taas, makita natin sa Instant Data Scraper, you just need to click itong pin. Ayan, ayun. Para magstay siya dito sa taas. Ayan. Sana all pwede ipin para magstay. Yes, may ganun. <laughs> Alright. So, we have here um, the instant data scraper. Uh, nakalagay na siya dito sa ating uh, Chrome. No? Um, nakapin na siya dito sa taas. Right. So, one thing that you guys have to remember is that if you're gonna use the instant data scraper, dapat nandun ka sa website na kukunan mo ng leads. No? Kung nandito ka sa isang website na hindi naman nagpa-provide ng leads, you will encounter an error if you're gonna use the scraper. So, kapag nandito ka and kinlik mo dito yung scraper, ang mangyayari is you will see this um, error message. Ibig sabihin, wala naman siyang nade-detect na leads dito or table dito sa website na to, kaya nagkakaroon ka ng ganitong error. So, what you need to do is to uh, close this and then um, you have to make sure na nandito ka sa tamang website before you even start running the instant data scraper. So, click mo lang siya. Kapag okay na yung page mo, i-click mo lang siya. And if ever na you will see that again, just close it. Tapos, i-click mo lang siya ulit. Ayan. So, kapag um, na-detect na niya yung table, you will see that there is a red box na mag highlight doon sa table na na-detect niya. So, paano mo malalaman kung yung scraper is aandar 
no sa isang website subukan ninyo i-highlight ninyo yung website i-copy ninyo press control c copy ninyo sa word or sa spreadsheet kapag na-copy siya successfully ibig sabihin pwede siyang gamitan na instant data scraper pero merong mga website na super strict na protect you can't even highlight you can't even copy paste or highlight copy paste anything sa isang website ibig sabihin hindi ya under yung scraper kapag ganun pero a lot of the websites na na detect yung table luma under naman itong instant data scraper so at first you will see that there is a try another table um you're gonna click that if ever na hindi niya na capture yung tamang table possible kasi na sa isang website marami siyang tables na na detect so if ever na hindi tama yung uh, data na lumalabas dito based on sa hinahanap mo or need mo um you will have to click try another table okay so if we're gonna click that Ayan, um, it will give you another set of table. Click mo ulit. So, mag-iiba-iba yung mga options, no? Ayan, hanggang sa babalik siya doon sa kanina. There is another button here that says locate uh, next button. So, you will have to click that. Click mo siya. And then, dito sa page mo, make sure na naka-scroll down ka. You need to press the next button, which is this one. So, click mo siya. And then, go back to your scraper. Open mo siya ulit. And then, you will have to click start crawling. So, initially, before we start, before we click that, um, makikita mo na pages scrape is 1. Tapos, rows collected 16. So, 16 companies yung na-scrape niya initially. No? So, para ma-scrape niya lahat ng 142 na pages, ang gagawin natin is we're gonna start uh, crawling. Okay, so for example, um, na realize mo na hindi mo pala kailangan yung mga ibang columns, like for example, this one, pwede mo siyang ex, ayan, click mo lang yung x, ayan, okay, tapos kung ito na yung mga kailangan mo na, na columns, uh, pwede ka na mag-start crawling. Pero kung gusto mong ibalik, let's say, accidentally mong naklik yung X, tapos nawala yung column, pwede mo i-click yung reset column. So, ayan, alisin lang natin siya ulit. Okay? Para wala na kayong lilinisin later on. So, I think we're good to go. Um, make sure na dito sa baba, may lumalabas na uh, next button located kasi kinlik natin ito kanina. If you guys remember. No? Tapos, we can press start crawling to get more pages. Tapos, we can click start crawling. So, wala na akong um, kailangang gawin. After that, kailangan ko lang siyang antayin na matapos mag-scrape ng 142 pages. So, you will notice this part right here. Itong part na to, na the pages scrape numbers are increasing. The rows collected are increasing. So, every... Um, page, nagkakaroon siya ng additional 16 companies, 16 rows collected. So, make sure na monitor mo siya um, kung nag increase ba siya para malaman mo kung gumagana pa yung scraping. So, if you're gonna adjust this window, makikita mo na yung background ng website, uh, gumagalaw siya ng kusa. So, nag-move siya to uh, different pages. no? So, makikita mo yan dito sa baba. Ayun, gumagalaw siya. 14 pages na siya. 15. Ayun, gumagalaw siya ng kusa. So, kinu kinukuha niya, kinakapture niya yung mga leads sa website na to. Or kahit na hindi leads, yung mga information na kailangan mo doon sa website. No? Or yung table, specifically the table na present doon sa website na ginagamit mo ngayon. So, right now, I'm at 22 uh, pages na, ayan, page 22, tapos I have 384 rows collected. So, um, unless you press the stop crawling here, uh, dun lang magi stop yung scraping, no? Uh, eto kasi 142, so hindi ko na siya aantayin na makompleto yung 142 for tutorial purposes. Um, let's try stopping this. Ayan, in-stop ko muna siya. So, babalik yung start crawling na button. Tapos, if you guys would like to uh, 
get a copy of this uh, leads no yung mga na scrape niya and ilagay mo siya sa spreadsheet pwede mong i-click yung CSV, XLS or copy all so i would recommend uh, mas malinis kasi yung template ng CSV uh, misan kasi yung XLS format may mga naka-merge cells may mga formatting diyan na kailangan pang alisin so um, i highly recommend um, whenever you are working with data na CSV yung gamitin ninyo or comma separated values. So, if you're gonna click this, you will see that it will be downloaded as CSV here. So, if you're gonna open this using Microsoft Excel, ayan. So, ito na yung ating version ng uh, wineries na nasa spreadsheet na. So, tapos na natin siyang i-scrape, tapos automatically nandito na siya sa spreadsheet. Siyempre, hindi ganun ka-perfect yung uh, data. Minsan may mga na nag-move na data and um, I will be creating another um, video about the data cleanup naman. No? Pero so far, this is going to be helpful for you guys no if ever na kailangan ninyong mag um, extract ng leads from different website or extract ng information from different website so yung iba naman ang ginagamit nila is yellowpages.com.au before um na extract pa yung email addresses pero like last month nagstart silang mag-implement na hindi mo na agad makukuha yung email addresses unless you extract it manually. So, if you're gonna select, for example, um, cargo companies, tapos, uh, Queensland, if you're gonna search for this specific industry and location or state, it will give you 1,457. So, pwede mong gamitin ulit yung scraping sa mga ganitong klaseng um, websites, no? So, it will give you um, information about the company. So, if you're gonna click the scraper, mawawala na yung kanina. E, nahanapin niya yung, ayan, yung table na present doon sa website na yun. Alright, so... If you click locate next button, you will have to click here and then start crawling. Ayan. So, ito naman, 35 companies per page. Okay? Ang um, kaya niyang e-scrape. So, pwede niyo rin siyang magamit dito sa yellowpages.com.au. So, I hope that's helpful and you guys can try kung mag-work siya sa end ninyo. Um, let me know if you have questions. Um, you guys can comment naman. Thank you. Never stop learning. Bye-bye.